One of the first things a researcher does when designing an experiment is to set the alpha level. And the alpha level is denoted by this kind of fish-looking um, symbol, right? So alpha is the amount of chance, the amount of probability, the amount of wiggle room that um, a researcher is willing to accept for that specific study. So the most common alpha levels that you're going to see in um, like scholastic journals or um, publication articles is going to be 0 0.05, 0 0.01, or 0 0.001. Okay? And with um, alpha levels, the thing that we need to try to keep in mind is that um, what you're saying is that, um, that this is the amount of surety that the, that the um, researcher has. Okay, so if you're saying I have an alpha level set at 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001, think of them like um, percentages, right? So 0 0.05 becomes um, 5%, right? And the opposite of 5% out of 100 is 95%, right? So what the researcher is saying is that I am 95% sure these people got better because of the medicine I gave them. There's a 5% chance that maybe it's something else. Right? The alpha level determines also your probability of committing a type 1 error. We're going to get into that a little bit later in the semester. So with a 0 .01, right, 0 .01 becomes 1%. Um, the opposite then is 99%, where the researcher is really, really sure, really, really confident in their study, that, um, that the reason that the second graders are reading at a faster pace um, is because of this new teaching strategy that this teacher invented, right? Or the reason that um, this medicine is working, or this new therapy that they um, created is um, lowering depression rates. Um, they are 99% sure that it's the new therapy, and 1% like, mm, I don't know, right? So as you can tell, we're getting more and more sure of our study as we go on. So 0 0.001 right, becomes 0.01%, right, or um, in other words, you are 99.9% .9 sure that it's your medicine that is, um, that is working, that's, that's causing this effect on a treatment. Usually with 0 0.05, this is your social behavioral sciences, right, these are your psychologies, this is your, um, sociology, this is, oh, that was really sloppy, sorry, this is your sociology, this is your anthropology, right, these are your um, social behavioral sciences. So if we're talking about, does the new therapy work? Is this treatment effective, right? How sure are we? And we're about 95% sure. Um, medical, right, nursing usually go and goes more into 0 0.01, but some social behavioral sciences can do it. Again, the researcher sets the alpha level, right? Um, so this is, we'll say like this is more like medicine, um, any kind of nursing research they might do. Um, the stakes are a little bit higher when you're dealing with um, bodies, right? So uh, it, it's going to get more and more stringent, more and more tough. And then um, the last one is more like biomedical research, right? Think like AIDS research, cancer research, um, or anything that you have to be really, really, really sure that it's your medicine causing that difference um, versus just maybe just chance alone. So again, most common alpha levels, you're going to have 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. And again, alpha kind of looks like that. So um, this would be alpha equals, right? 0 0.05, this would be alpha equals 0 0.01, and then this would be alpha equals 0 0.001.